Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and welcome to show and tell number 87. So it's been kind of a little bit of a exciting week here. I hope you guys have found something to keep your blood pressure down and your enjoyment of life up for the last few days. Uh, we just had a technical error, so I'm having to reset the stuff sitting here in my lap to be able to show you guys what, what I have to show with you guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's been okay here. I have been very dedicated to one project. I did work some more on my corner to corner blanket and I will show a picture of that here. I got to the last corner. So, well, next to the last corner, I closed, I closed off for the decrease now. Um, so I'll probably get some work on that done while watching TV. I do need to hurry up and uh, get to work on the Mary Maxim kit stuff after, after playing with something else. Really, yeah. I'll show you guys. Don't worry. I brought it down here with me. Um, yeah, it's been a, a little crazy. So I hope you guys are finding ways to distract yourself and finding ways to keep yourself happy. Happy is good. <laughs> Um, so I'm actually going to start off a little backwards from how I normally start things off here. And I'm going to start with Happy Meals. Oh, I forgot these. So I did get some Happy Meals and I was very, very excited. At no point in time do you guys need, like, should you feel the need to send me anything? However, I am exceptionally grateful for everything I get. I am happy with just a card that says hello. So this is a card from Cindy. Happy Halloween card over at um, Cindy Hertz Crochet. We'll leave her channel tag down below. Um, it says, have an enchanting night, send, sending glowing good wishes and for a bright and happy Halloween. I promise you guys, I am literate. I probably should have taken some more allergy medicine today. I'm, I think it's allergies. I don't. Even though the pressure did change again, we got another, we just had a really big cold front. So it's been like in the forties with the lows in the low or highs in the low fifties. But most of the day it's been in the thirties, like at seven, it'll be 32 at noon. It'll be 39. A little bit chilly. Why is not ready for the thirties whatsoever? Let me tell you, that makes for a very eye opening brisk walk. And you are very awake when you get home and it's 30 degrees. Yeah, but today the low this morning was 45 and it's 70 degrees outside. So I actually had this on as a scarf, but, and I don't want to end up accidentally leaving this down here. So I went ahead and just threw it on as a shawl, but it's like entirely unnecessary. It's just there for locks. It is 70 degrees outside. So the next card is from Nikki's Crochet Nook. I will leave her channel link down below. But how cute. How cute. I love vintage and I love sketching. And on the inside it just says hi. And then she's got a very sweet note in there. But that's for me. And then she also, she, she did say thrift store, right? Up, 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 up. Estate sale. So she found these at an estate sale and these are handmade and they have little handmade envelopes that go with them. How cute. Yeah, that's ink on my finger. I went to the grocery store today. That's from where I was checking off my list. Sorry about that. And I have washed my hands repeatedly. I was handling raw meat earlier. Trust me, I washed my hands. Actually, while I was at the grocery store, the girl... Um, that was sanitizing the carts and passing them out when you came in. She's like, oh my God, I love your shoes. And I'm wearing my llama holiday Toms. I didn't know they were supposed to be Christmas when I bought them, but I love them. And she's like, oh my God, they're fantastic. She's like, I actually went to a llama camp when I was a kid. And it's like, that's just awesome. That's just awesome. So the next happy meal I got is from Michelle Chapon. I say your last name wrong every single time. We're just going to roll with it. We'll leave her information tagged down below. But here's the sweet card. I 
I love it. I love it. And that's like really nice. I mean, there's like a little foam batting in between. So really nice bag. And the zipper is really well made. Oh man, I meant to actually bring down the shipping bag, the outer bag. It had like all sorts of like smiley face emoji and stuff all over it. Great. I'm pretty sure like the people at my post office think I'm weird because like I go check my mail and they either hear things like, oh, Sonny, what did you do? Or they just hear me like, oh my God, how cute. <laughs> Yeah, I talk to myself in public too. She sent these beautiful stitch markers. Every single one of these I'd wear as a pair of earrings if they weren't, like, this one in particular is actually very heavy. But they are so pretty. So, so pretty. I've made stitch markers in about a year and a half now. No particular reason, just haven't done it. We come back in your little bag so you go upstairs together and then the last thing i got is from jane and this was so beyond unnecessary but there's some like really sweet nostalgia in this package so she sent me a there they are, a set of size 11 knitting needles she said she doesn't knit anymore so she's passed her knitting needles on to me here is the card so it says a special note of thanks straight from my heart. And then she wrote me a really sweet note on the inside. And don't worry, mine's not much better than yours. Sweet foil hearts. I am such a sucker for foiling. I don't know why. It, it must just be like, ooh, shiny. I've never been a shiny person or ooh, sparkly. But recently I've been really into like foiled papers and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, pretty. What yarn that is sticking out up there. I don't remember putting yarn in that. Anyway, <clears throat> completely distracted. But she sent me a McCall's Country Crochet. This was published in 19... 89 i was looking at it going like this has to be like 87 to 91 and it's the kind of plaid that's on the pillow but there are some really cute pieces in here i love my vintage magazines craft magazines i really like that baby blanket It might help if I pull my fingers out of the way, you guys. Might help you guys see what I'm looking at. Adorable! And I really like this balance treatment. Which would be highly appropriate in my craft room. If I ever decide to put up draperies. So this is an arm knitting book, which I have actually never done arm knitting. But not only do you have like the chunky, chunky, you know, using like three bulky yarns together, four or five bulky yarns together, which that's the, the one from the front. Um, I thought this was particularly cool because I have a whole bunch of that chiffon ruffle yarn to make the ruffle scarves. And I mean, it is skull print, but I still have a bunch of it. And I've already made two ruffle scarves in different styles with it. One is, uh, I actually shared it because it was uh, in my Hidden Whips thing, but it was a wide scarf that I actually worked back and forth. So the ruffle almost does this around the scarf. And then the other one is like that skinny, just like hangs their ruffle scarf. But that's actually pretty cool. And there are a couple using those ruffle style yarns where you just use it as like a big yarn. 
And I still have a bunch of that stuff. <clears throat> There's one right there. So actually, that's kind of interesting. Because I mean, when I say I have a lot of it, like I've got four different brands of it. All right, so what, how, that's the how to knit. Where's the actual pattern for that one? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Lion Brand Homespun, Hometown USA, Hometown USA, Hometown USA, yeah. So two fives and three sixes is what goes into the picture on the cover. But something like that really wouldn't take that long, and that is really kind of cute. I don't know why I've never tried it. You know, I've got so much like stupid thick bulky yarn that I just never use. So this was incredibly sweet and she had no idea or no way of knowing this. So this book is called Stunning Stitches, 21 Shawls, Scarves, and Cowls You'll Love to Knit. And it's by Jen Lucas. So I've mentioned on here before many, 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 many moons ago. Back as I was learning how to knit, I had a blog. Now there is the Happy Crafty Homemaker blog, which I, when I started making YouTube videos, I kind of quit using my blog spot blog for that, but it's still out there. Um, however, Sad Lonely Creator uh, has had its content deleted. Part of that is I was having a stalking problem and this was before you could have like block people really from commenting and things like that. Um, <clears throat> but I was a member of this like little group of stitchers and one was knit tech who I still communicate with. One was a lady named Sarah. I actually really remember like when she went to Japan and like her, she was blogging her trip to Japan. It was amazing. I believe Sarah was in a STEM science. I don't think it was chemistry, but I believe she was in sciences. And Jen Lucas was a member of this group. And we all like all like communicated back and forth with each other. We come in on each other's projects. Um, I believe Jen and I actually, and she like has no clue who I am anymore. Like this is not like a, she remembers me. We're so good friends. And like about the time she started designing, I quit blogging. And then by the time like her designs were picking up and I saw her more and more, like I've done some of her shawl patterns before. They're absolutely beautiful. So if you have an opportunity to get Jen's patterns, like they're gorgeous. But like this isn't a, we know each other personally, we're intimate friends or anything like that. Like we literally have not talked to each other or had any real communication with each other probably for like 10, 11 years. I mean, it's been a long time. Um, but I did... She released a small shawl and it seems like it has lace hearts going down the back. I have one upstairs. Um, that was one of her early pattern releases and I participated in, I can't remember if it was the mystery cow or if she sent like some of us a pattern to like test knit it for her. But yeah, like, it was kind of a blast from the past seeing her name. I knew she was a designer and had actually published books and stuff. Like I, I have followed her kind of at a distance still. And I, I'm in her, her Ravelry group. I just don't participate in anything on Ravelry anymore. Really. Um, I occasionally post a picture for a cow, but that's like it. But it was so awesome. Like I actually remember it was because of Jen. I got on Ravelry when I did, it was, um, my account was actually like a beta account. Like I've, been on there a long time and she was one of the reasons because she was talking about how she liked it but I can't remember like if our group like all met through like one of those Yahoo so there were a couple like Yahoo message days which was kind of like our live stream chat group kind of things I mean these were like time date 
people show up, like chat board. I mean, and we would just sit there and live chat with each other for like two hours on Saturday once a month. It was so much fun. That old day of blogging was just, I never really got back into to writing my process or anything after I quit blogging the first time. I tried, I think I got around a year's worth of content on the Happy Crafty Homemaker blog, but you know, I could just communicate a lot quicker in spoken word than I do typed word. Hence why, like, you see so few Instagram posts from me. Because it just takes me forever to type anything, even a blurb. I don't even get on Facebook that much, to be honest. So, on to card making. Once again, ladies, thank you so much. I... Everything here, I love so much. And I kind of went off on a tangent on the Jen Lucas thing, but her patterns are beautiful. She does a lot of lace work. I love texture and lace. Like, I, I love it. <laughs> so I did make some cards this weekend. I started into a new paper pack for my Christmas cards. So this is Safe Freeze from Michael's. I think it's Recollections brand from 2016. So I started off with these five by sevens. These are some of those whole sheet designs I was telling you guys about a couple weeks ago. On the inside I did put a, so when I do my, in the um, when I stamp my inserts to go on the inside, you know, with Happy Christmas or whatever I put in there. Actually, my tops, oh, there they are. I was like, my top section's missing its inserts. Um they'll be matted and it's just, <clears throat> I have a lot of Christmas paper and I really need to like not hold back on using it. So I'm not trying to keep any extras or make this go as far as possible or anything like that. I'm just trying to use it up. So all of these have their background. So like this was on the side this image was on the side, and then I stamped Happy Holidays in the white space, which I really love. I mean, these are simple cards. These are not rocket science cards. But, you know, of course, like, this is 5 by 7 so I have, you know, the rest of my 12 by 12 sheet over here that looks like that, so. But this is, I, I mean, literally, these are just... I cut it down to five by seven and stuck it on a card base with some washi tape. And these are not difficult cards at all. The hardest part is like this, these guys, which how cute are they? They were sitting up on a mound of snow. So there was like half an inch that I cut off down here. So I could get the whole length of the snowmen with their little hats. And then... I have a dozen of another, it's a Call Me Crafty L sketch that, I mean, you guys, if you've been with me recently, you know how much I enjoy my Call Me Crafty L sketches. Um, that I used up the rest of those 12 by 12 sheets in the cards. I also, I'm not going to call these oopsies, but, I mean, even with these, well, that's my envelopes, that doesn't help. So I work with cardstock when I make cards most of the time, not paper. And I mean, you can see, I mean, you can hear how thick those are. And if you've gotten one of my cards in the past, like you've, you've touched them, you know what I mean? They're, they're very thick cards and they just feel, I think being thick makes them feel a little extra special. Okay. I just totally made a mess out of my cards down here. Y'all, when I say welcome to the train wreck, I mean, I really do mean welcome to the train wreck. I have this really amazing, I've got two or three that are in the same, they're not all this paper, but they're paper. And these are so thin feeling. I hate to send these out for my cards, but they're great for like donation cards. But I did get some of these. I was trying so hard to work with it, but they just don't have that special feeling. 
And then I tried, you know, like I was, I popped up that whole piece on this one, just trying to give it a little extra something. And I'm just, I, I'm, I don't know. I might play with this some more next year when I've got a little bit more time to do that. Wow, you guys. All right, so I've got, and this was one of, it's 180 sheets in the paper pad. And there's three of each design. So I've got three of each of these. And then this one's not using, actually neither one of these are using sketches. But I mean, how cute is that paper pad? It's got a very retro vintage feel to it. And it's just so stinking cute. I really, really love the colors and the visual on it is just so I mean maybe I'm just overthinking it and it's just me but it's just compared to the I mean it just feels so weird it's not that heavy rich texture I'm used to and maybe I'm using different card I use different card bases on these because um I have I still have some very old uh a2 cards that normally I make my own card bases uh, out of 110 pound cardstock and uh, these just don't they feel more flimsy so I didn't think I was really gonna have a whole lot of time to talk to you guys or anything to talk about but I managed to talk to you guys for 21 minutes so far so if you follow me on Instagram I did share a picture of this on Saturday and I got so close to having this done. But yesterday I was just so sleepy. I was so sleepy. I took a shower at 8 30 and was asleep. According to my Fitbit, I was asleep by 9 39 and did not wake up until 4 30. And I was just like out. And I woke up feeling great. Just a little, I'm a little tired now, but like I woke up, I mean, I got the dishes done. I got the laundry done. I worked out. I mean, I was like done for the day work wise at 11 a.m. Because like I just went nonstop all morning. Didn't take a break. I mean, I haven't even checked my email technically today. I mean, I glanced at it on my phone to make sure nothing important came in. But like I haven't even like replied to emails or anything. Yeah. That's how like pumped I was this morning. If I'd taken that time and not fallen asleep so early, I would have finished this. But I told you guys last week that I had pulled the yarn to do a fade shawl with. Then I started it. And I'm on my last ball here, my last 40 grams going in right here. So I had said I wanted to do something crocheted and I just wasn't finding the stitch I really wanted to do with these yarns. And I really love the idea of working it to it, like starting two at a time, color A, it's down here, um, working it until I have 40 grams left and then adding in color B. So now we're to AB. And working it till I had 20 grams left, cutting it so I could have some 20 gram minis here to go into my advent calendar that I'm building for myself. <clears throat> Work for that 20 as an AB, as a B. Move on to BB. And then adding in C. Well, somewhere in there I added in C. This it is really hard to see. These first colors blend so softly. Where did... Oh, okay. A, A, B, B, B? Yes. B, 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 C, 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 D, D, D. D E and now I'm on, you can't really see the color change, but for this last inch, it's just been E E now because I don't have it done yet. 
I might actually pull in another color that's solidish that is that bright pink color and just do another color just because I haven't decided yet, but it's pretty large. It is already on the white edge about five and a half feet. I mean, it's almost my total wingspan. Like holding it here and then holding it there. So, I mean, it's huge, but I am so happy with the way my colors look and the way I lined them up to blend into each other. Cause it's like, I went from like a white in through purple to blue back out to the variegated and then it became pink and it'll end with that speckled pink. So I'm pretty excited. But that's really all I worked on. I mean, I showed you the, my progress on my blanket at the beginning. And then this, like, I really haven't worked on that much. So this week, hopefully I will finish one or both of the Mary Maxim catalogs. I still need to get in touch with them about the card. They just emailed me about it uh, yesterday. So I need to get in touch with them and talk to them about it <coughs> so I can get this month's boxes. But other than that, I think that's everything I have. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Right now, I don't know if I'm going to have a video going up Saturday or not, but we will see. I hope you guys take care. I love you, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.